A Tulsa family just moved into their dream home and now three weeks later it's caught fire and they have lost everything they own. We're glad you stayed with us tonight. I'm Lori Fulbright and I'm Brian Dorman right after the holidays. I can't even imagine news on six's Jordan Tidwell tells us they are in a state of shock but trying to remain positive. That's the master like I said, it almost looks like there wasn't a fire in there but when you smell it that's never going to go away. Julia Clary was on her way home from work last week when she got a frantic call from her husband, Jacob, that their house was on fire. I looked up and I could see the smoke in the sky and that's when I was like, oh my God, this is serious. By the time she got home five minutes later, the roof had caved in. She says they've lost everything and the things that didn't get burned have water and smoke damage. Everybody's like, oh, it's material possessions. It's like, yes, it's yes. material possessions, but it's like our home and like all of my memories, they're gone. It's, it's, it's Jacob says the fire department says the fire was electrical and started in the garage. He said it happened so fast and his main priority was getting their kids out safely. I mean, I'm going to sift through that I already have and it's, it's already breaks my heart. Yeah, um, it does. But that's that's monet monetary things and memories. That's fine. Yeah. But, you know, you got more memories when someone's still alive. Julia says this has been a nightmare and she's grieving what they've lost, but is also thankful for the many people who have helped them. I'm wearing everybody else's clothes right now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, just like the little things, like somebody who realized I needed a toothbrush. Like it's that stuff that just made me like, it's really humbling. The family is staying in a hotel for the week while they figure out what's next. It's just going to be like one step at a time, one day at a time, because there's not like a handbook for what to do after everything you own goes up in flames. The Kate Brewing Company in Jinx is collecting donations for the family. In Tulsa, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.